What up, Throg Squad? Welcome back. So today we are going to be installing this Pro Taper chain, and things you will need is a chain breaker. But if you don't have a chain breaker, a good old fashioned grinder will do the trick. So let's get started. All right. Now, if you look on your chain, most chains will have a master link on them, but with these SSR 125s, they do not come with a master link. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my grinder just so I can cut the chain off. Let's get started. So after you've grinded down one of the edges, you can pop your chain off like so, and then you can remove it. Now what you want to do is you want to lay it flat and lengthwise. Then you want to open up the new chain and lay it next to it. So this way you can measure out the length. What you want to do is you want to lay the chains out next to each other. This way you can get length. And what I like to do is I like to eliminate the one link because you are going to be having a master link installed on here. So we'll set it like this. This will be where the master link will go. And then down here on the bottom, I will grind this chain right here. So that way I can cut the link right here so I can make the chain the exact same length as this one. After you grind it off, you want to have the thin side grinded. So you want it to be the same exact as like this. So if you guys want to see, I'll show you an example right here. So this is the outer side and then the inner side. So you want to grind the outer side off and then flip it over and then slide the pin off. So once you cut your chain to the right length, what you're going to do next is you're going to come over to your bike. You're going to loosen up your rear, your rear tire and you're going to pull it back and then you're going to loosen up these right here. So you're going to loosen up your screws right here and then you're going to screw these in. So this way you can accommodate for the new chain. So what I like to do is I like to screw them all the way out like that. Then I like to take my wrench and then screw these in because we are going to be adjusting them out once we get the new chain on. But this way it's going to make everything really easy to slide that new chain on. All right, and the reason why I was telling you guys that you need to cut the smaller side is because I'm gonna show you right here how this works. This is the master link, and I'm gonna slide this right here onto the bike. And this helps a lot when it's a neutral, so you can slide it up in here and slide it around. And it should come out down around the bottom. Now you wanna make sure that you flow it into the normal rotation of how everything goes. This will make everything super easy. So grab this, put it over here on the chain guide, and then slide it down here through your other chain guide. And then we're gonna pop it through here. And we're gonna rotate this. There's a tight spot right here. There we go, guys. Now we're gonna put this on here. We're gonna move the chain forward. And we're going to link it up as best as we can over here. Now, just slide this forward. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stick this right in here. And then you're going to want to get the other chain lined up. So round two, I got the chain a little too small, so we're going to have to do it. Remember, better one link too long than one link too short. That was totally my mistake. What do you think, Alyssa? You Pretty messed up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Good thing I had two. Yeah, now we just need to order another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another one for Alyssa's bike. I am sorry. Yeah, just messed up. Sometimes it happens. All right, this time I'll have it right. So let's get this grinder real quick we'll fast. I'll show you guys how I'm doing this. Nah. Say, do it the right way. Don't do it the way I'm doing it. This is a little sketchy. So I'm using a pair of pliers to hold the chain in place while I use a grinder. Yeah. Perfect. And too short. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think this is long <laughs> enough. All right, let's throw it on now, and I'll grab my master link. Well, at least we have an extra master link now. 
It's only a, only in a pretty expensive mistake, so not a big deal, right? I mean, it could be worse. Could be a lot worse. Could have messed up on something a lot more expensive than a $40 chain. Exactly. And yes, we do pay for every single thing, every single mod that you guys see on our channel. We pay out of pocket for everything. Pro Taper does not sponsor us. But, but they you, should. But you read, yeah, <laughs> Pro Taper, if you're listening, a sponsorship would be nice, considering you use a lot of your parts on all of our builds. So. Be careful, Renthal might beat you to the punch, Pro Taper. <laughs> All right. So here we are. Now I'm going to slide this rim forward. And it looks like, there we go. We're going to be. I thought you were just going to say, it looks like it's too short. I was like, hmm. babe. Right? More like too long. This looks pretty long, but. These are good chains, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this real fast. Oh my gosh, I think that is way too long. I'm probably going to have to cut it one length shorter. It does look but, pretty long. Let's, what you're going to do, set it up like right here on your sprocket. And then you want to take this side right here and push it through. There we are. You want to set this over the outside edge. And then you want to take your pin and you want the round side facing the way the chain goes. So if the chain's going this way, you're going to want it like that. And then you just set it over like that. And then you push the clip in here to lock it into place. But I do have to cut this chain one link shorter. So I'll do that and we'll see the final product in just a minute. So now I have the chain on and it is the right length. You see I have a little bit of play right here, but I have plenty of room for adjustments. So I have that right there. I'm gonna slide the outside layer right on top and I'm gonna to throw the master link in. And this time I'm gonna show you guys how to properly put this on. So now that it's over there, what you wanna do is you wanna set it down where the big hole is right here on top. This is just for anyone that hasn't done this already. If you already know what to do, skip to the end result. So I'm gonna put this right here and I'm gonna use a pair of pliers to just grab it and clip it into place. And there we go. Now the new chain is installed. So the next step of what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that these right here on both sides are the same length. So that way we make sure that the rim is facing directly forward because you don't want the rim to be sideways either direction because that will give you less horsepower and slow you down. But if you guys want, you can get a throttle family sticker and throw it on your bike. Give it about five more horsepower too, as well as upgrading your chain. Definitely a good mod. <laughs> Stickers will be available soon, guys. So, all right, so now that the chain's on, you're gonna check your tension and you're gonna set it by adjusting this bolt right here. So you loosen this nut up right here and then you unscrew the bolt out as many as it takes to get this to be, you know, rule of thumb on a pit bike, you would like to have a two finger gap so if it goes from here to the top of your two fingers, you're good. So you want it to be even though. So like right here, like what I like to do is I like to count my threads. So I have three threads showing right here. And on the other side, I have three threads showing as well. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pit bike and we're gonna remove it off the stand. And we're also gonna check it while it's on the ground to make sure that we still have a good amount of chain slack. And as well as sitting on it. You want to sit on it you want to make sure you still have a little bit of slack right there that's perfect so that guys concludes our video on how to put on a pro taper chain sometimes you got to do it twice <laughs> so after you're done working on everything and your hands are kind of greasy you could use an orange hand cleaner but if you have simple green you just spray some simple green on your hands rub it around and this is a good degreaser right here to get all that chain grease off of your hands and of course these blue shop towels you can get from an auto parts store these things work wonders. I always keep them around. So, sorry that this was kind of a short video, but I'm sure Alyssa will show you another clip of that chain. I think it looks a whole lot better. It's gonna last a lot longer. Uh, these original ch like Chinese chains that come on these pit bikes, they are, they're known for breaking, and when they break, they come in here and destroy the engine casing on your bike. And it's not a good idea. It's a good idea to change them right away, but, we rode on them for a good 
you know, year, because we wanted to give you guys like honest reviews on everything on these bikes as stock as possible, other than the carb upgrade that we did. So now that this bike has the suspension upgrades, if you guys haven't seen that video, it's in the SSR playlist, you can go back. Um, that rear shock works really great, as well as the front spacers that we put into the front forks. If you guys wanna see that, go into our playlist, go check it out. If you guys wanna see any of our other SSR mods, go back into our playlist and check those out. But I think it looks amazing. So we'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.